All right, so first ones first. Let's start out with the identity key. To make this, I'm starting out with a washer and I'm planning out where I'm going to be putting each of the heads, which I'm just simply making out of clay. These are really, really small skulls, so I had to be very particular about the faces I was making. I had to make them look as much like skulls as possible without going overboard, which was very easy to do. So I simply put two eyes, built up the nose a little bit, and then added a mouth just with a few dots with a nail dotting tool. For the, um, lack of a better term, uh, shaft of each key, I'm going to be using plastic or paper straws because they are going to be hollow, but they also hold their shape quite well. So for this first one, I'm using some hot glue to attach it to the washer just to make the complete key shape. Obviously on both sides because you want both sides to be sticking down equally. And then placing some more air dry clay just over top of that to add a little bit more volume and texture. Throughout this entire process of each key, I'm going to be utilizing water to be able to smooth down each piece of clay that I want to, unless I want to add more texture, then I will. But I did find that there were two ways to go about this, one of them being to put the uncolored eyes immediately onto the base with hot glue and paint them like that. But the second option was to paint them separately and then add them on with hot glue later on, which is what I did on the flip side. But beyond that, I'm going to be adding more clay down the stem. Let's call it a stem instead of a shaft, shall we? To one, uh, again, add more texture and two, to properly secure it a little bit more to the straw. Plus, I'm going to be adding a piece of metal in there, again, to just basically make everything a more cohesive piece then adding hot glue down the stem. If you've been watching YouTube for a little while, a lot of people used to do these to make their own wands because of how pliable and how easy to manipulate hot glue is. Well, that is exactly what I am doing to add a little bit of the texture. Past that, I'm adding some almost like wings or like staff wings, I'm gonna say, to either side with some clay. and then paint the entire thing in a metallic silver mixed with a little bit of a brown tone, just giving that a light brush, making sure to not add any onto the eyes, but only the hot glue around it. If you add it onto the eyes, it doesn't really matter a lot because you will be painting these ones later. Now for the paint job, I'm going to be utilizing five different colors, but within those colors, I'm going to be adding that same silver metallic paint to it, just to give them a little bit more of a shimmer, which is more true to the tone that the show uses. This is the option that's going to be to paint them directly onto the key. The other option is actually going to be to paint them off of the key and then add them on using hot glue after they've been painted. Both options definitely work out. However, with that being said, the pre-coloring does save you a little bit of time, but it also doesn't add the effect of having the hot glue a little bit of a silver tone as well. But to add in some more details, I'm going to be using black paint that's a little bit watered down to seep into all the crevices of the skulls. And again, I'm using a nail dotting tool for this because I already know that it works because that's what I use to shape each of the features. For the echo key, I'm starting off the same way I started the last, and that was with a washer, just for the general shape, alongside adding clay around it. I'm making a very, very tiny mountain's peak about halfway up, smoothing it down with some water, as I stated before, using a nail dotting tool to add a little bit of detail onto it, which are just going to be lines in about half an inch and in between each of those, another stretch of lines into the center. And then another. And another. And then once that's dried down, I'm repeating it on the back. Again, allowing that side to dry down. And Adding the silver brown wash over the top. With black detailing.
For the Omega key, I'm going to be rolling a piece of clay out into a long snake and cutting it with my fingernail, though you could use literally anything else, <laughs> at the length that I want it to be, making it into the Omega shape. And adding it onto a bent paper straw. I am going to be shaping it better around there for when it dries down and then once it is dry and stable I added a wash of the silver metallic paint over top. I took the clay off of the paper straw and packed it with another slice of metal to keep its shape. And glued it back. The flower key. For this key, I rolled out each petal with clay. and pressed a few others down. And then finally, one small dot in the middle, adding wire into the stem, <laughs> fitting, of a now broken down Q-tip, and a dollop of hot glue onto the top to secure the flower into place, and building it up a little bit around it. Painting that with a yellow wash once again, and a green on the inner petals. Then for the mirror key, as it has such a complex base shape, I want to actually give it a base. I used the plastic top of a throwaway yogurt container, cut it to the approximate size that I wanted it to be, no bigger than, and drew the general shape that I wanted it to be. Cut that out, which took a lot longer than anticipated. <laughs> But I got there eventually. I hot glued the seams as well as adding more definition around it and building it up. Adding more onto the straw I've been using for all of these and cutting the top portion in half hot dog style so I'm able to actually stick the key in place that I've just created inside of it. That sounded weird. I'm adding a little bit more visual interest to the stem again just with some hot glue. And then finally the paint job, which is just that wash of silver metallic and brown paint once again. And then sponge over top with a little bit of a darker brown.
For the matchstick key, I'm making the entire head out of a mixture of hot glue and wire. There's honestly just no real way to tell you which shape I've made, so just watch close. I will however say that I made three different layers to this that I stuck all together with hot glue. and adding a little ball of clay at the end of the paper straw and then gluing it all together to be one cohesive piece. And then we have the paint job, which is super simple and easy enough as of the rest of the paint jobs for this. It's just going to be that same brown and silver tone mixture. But that is it for today's video. I do hope you guys enjoy. Happy Halloween. Okay, so you're watching first. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter too, too much. Just are you, are you gonna do it with a wig on so you've got the same hair? No, the point is is that it changes your appearance. Why would I want to look the same? Oh, okay, I didn't know. Well, somebody doesn't listen. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo! Encore! Encore! Are you more comfortable with your hair like this or back? I think mine's too short to rest. Okay. Wow, we all just have first world problems, don't we? Okay. Quit making me giggle! <laughs> um, yeah, you can't see me now because I'm much taller. <laughs> you know what? You're not that much taller, alright. Like, you can't yeah, see my face? That's okay. Are you sure? Do you, want, you want? Do you want the beautiful world to see a beautiful face? And then walk away. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <you're> right. <laughs> I might just keep that one. <laughs> okay, yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. I hope that 